finding our bodies in a comfortable seated pose, any easy seat that feels good for you. May you find your position as we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body here today. Ensuring that our tummies are tucked in at our navel, spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having that nice elongated spine with the shoulders relaxed down away from the ears. This allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. Taking that nice, deep, intentional breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. And exhale fully. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into that seated prayer. Using this time to gaze our eyes down. Relaxing, silent meditation for natural breaths. As we flow our palms above our heads, coming into that extended mountain, palms are up, fingertips facing the heavens. Our palms are not connected. Reaching our fingertips up towards the heavens, that nice, elongated spine, feeling that stretch, breathe in. Exhale, twist the body towards the right. Palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over our right shoulder, coming into that seated twist. Allowing the eyes to gaze or close down. Noticing how the spinal cord relaxes and soothes for three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that star. Our palms are outward towards our sides. Heart chakra is lifted, chin is up, that pelvic bone is tilted forward. Take it a nice breath. Exhale, twist the body towards the left. Palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over our left shoulder, allowing that spine to twist and decompress. Gaze in the eyes down or closing the eyes. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, placing our palms on our laps, and we're going to do a couple of circular rotations here at our hips, allowing our bodies to just loosen up, maybe trying to keep our tummies nice and tucked in at our navel as we are rotating, going as fast or as slow as we choose, just loosening up that lumbar spine, feeling the hips working here. Two more breaths. As we find that pause, we're gonna rotate in the opposite direction, noticing how this feels in the body. Keeping that back nice and elongated. Two more breaths. We're gonna find that pause coming back at center, straightening that spine, breathing those feet into a diamond or butterfly position. We are in a bound pose, diamond or butterfly. The bottoms of our feet are connecting and we're gonna breathe our hands to our ankles or our feet. We're gonna keep that spinal cord nice and elongated here, meaning we're not sunken. Spinal cords are nice and long as we slightly hinge at the hips, leaning forward. Noticing that when we hinge, you'll feel this in your inner thighs. So only going down as much as your body comfortably allows you to go down. As we take nice, subtle breaths, allowing the torso to come closer to the earth. Maybe gazing the eyes down or closing the eyes. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back up to center, using the hands to lift the torso away, using the hands to breathe our legs together. 
fixing our bodies to feel straight as we lift those those feet off the earth backs are straight heart chakras lifted that chin is up we're going to flow into a boat pose we can option to wrap our hands around our legs and interlace our hand on our wrist and that boat pose for extra support or we can uninterlace our hands, our wrists, and just breathe our palms to the side. We can option to extend those legs up in that boat pose. Wherever you choose, wherever your body's at in your boat, we are gaze forward, heart chakras lifted, five breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. Breathing those knees inward towards the chest, nice and wide leg, and connecting the hands to the feet. We're going to play around with our feet in our hand. Tummies are tucked in at our navel. We are working our core. Our backs are straight. Just playing around with our hip flexors here. And we're going to find that pause at center as we extend that left leg out to the side. Optioning to bend that knee if needed. Left leg's out. Keeping that heart chakra lifted, that chin up. Tummies are tucked in. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling that leg back in. As we extend that opposite leg out to the side, we can option to bend that knee if needed. We are feeling the hamstring stretch here. We are lengthening. Keeping that heart chakra lifted. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling that leg back in. Okay, so left leg out to the side, right leg out to the side. And now we're in that boat pose variation. And we're feeling the body lengthen as well as stretching here. Three breaths. Two breaths. Breathing our legs back in, coming into that bound position, either diamond or a butterfly. We're just going to keep that back nice and elongated. Lifting that heart chakra up. Chin is lifted. Pelvic bone tilts forward. We're going to flow into a seated cat and cow pose. Lifting that chin up. Heart chakra's up. And then we're going to flow down into that cat. Chin comes to clavicle, spinal cord, spinal cord flows to the back of the room. And we're going to do a couple of seated cat cows to our natural breath. Hmm. Two more breaths. Finding that pause at center, we're going to breathe our legs inward. We're going to extend our legs back out, coming into that boat pose, but this time extended boat. This is going to give that a try and see how that feels. Legs are extended. Three more breaths. Exhaling our feet back down. Let's come into a staff pose. Legs are straight, parallel. Heart chakras lifted, chin is up. Taking that nice breath. Exhale to half forward fold or complete forward fold. We are in our seated half forward or complete forward fold. This is lengthening and stretching the body. As the torso comes closer to the thighs, head melts downward towards the knees. Taking that nice breath. Exhale. Allowing the eyes to gaze down or close. Four breaths. Two breaths. Using the hands to lift the body up. Taking a moment to relax here in our staff. Breathe in through the nose. 
Exhale through the mouth. Palms are flat on the laps. Bodies are gazed forward. Eyes are down or closed. Four breaths. Two breaths. As we cross our feet at our ankles, let's come onto our tabletop. Hands and knees. Knees are hip distance apart. Palms are flat on the earth. And we're going to drop that tummy down, coming into the cow. Feeling this in your lumbar spine. That chin is slightly up. Exhale into cat. As we do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath. Noticing how this cat cow feels in your spine. I'm going to find that pause at center as we extend that left leg towards the back. And we're going to breathe that right arm forward, coming into that sunbird pose. Our tummies are tucked in at our navel. We are gazed forward. We are working on balancing and strengthening here. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to table. Dropping down to cow. Tummy comes towards the earth. Chin is up. Flow into our cat. Coming to our table. As we extend that right leg towards the back, nice and long. Breathing that left arm forward, sunbird, opposite side, gazing forward, tummies are tucked. Balancing and strengthening here. Three more breaths. Exhale back to center, come into table, dropping that body down to cow. Exhale, cat. Flowing up to down dog, gazing at our feet. Mm. Optioning to walk that dog by pedal on their feet left and right. As we flow to a three legged right side, right leg flows up towards the heavens, gazing at the foot. And we're going to breathe this right foot up, this right foot to our left buttocks, opening up that hip flexor. And we can option if we choose to flow into a wild thing, just allowing that left foot to flow to the, the right foot to flow to the left and coming into that wild thing. If that feels good, that is a nice deep back opener. So only flow in there if you choose. Otherwise, we're hanging out here. And that three-legged, that hip opened up. Two more breaths. Mm. Exhaling down dog, gazing at the feet. And we're going to keep on flowing and building strength here. Three-legged, opposite side. That left foot flows up, gazing at the foot. Mm. Optioning to breathe this left foot to that right buttocks. Opening up that hip. As we option to flow into a wild thing, allowing that body to blow towards the right, lifting that torso up, wild thing, if we choose. Or we can just stay in that three-legged with that hip open. <sighs> Two more breaths. Flowing back to down dog, gazing at the feet. Coming to our forearms, dolphin pose. We're on our forearms, buttocks is high in the air, heads gaze downward towards the earth. Walking our feet closer to our torso, dolphin pose. This dolphin prepares the body for headstand. This is an inversion pose. Four more breaths. 
Two breaths. Dropping down to our knees, maybe come into a child's pose or a puppy pose. Child's pose and puppy pose looks very similar. Puppy pose, buttocks is high in the air, torsos downward towards the earth. And at child's pose, our torso is kind of relaxed between our thighs, buttocks is closer to our heels. Arms in front of us flat on the earth, we are in that extended puppy pose or child's pose. With that heart chakra, Coming close to the earth, the third eye chakra maybe is connected to the earth. That is the forehead, third eye chakra. With the eyes, gaze down with a closed. Maybe take a nice, deep, intentional breath. Exhale. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. Heart chakras connecting to the environment. Feeling one with the universe. Bodies relaxed. Minds relaxed. Five breaths of silence. Two more breaths. With our palms flat on the earth, we get a spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose or our puppy pose. Using our palms to wave our bodies forward, using our palms to wave our buttocks towards our heels. Spinal waving, feeling that spinal cord relax and soothe here. Allow the neck and head to also rotate in this spinal wave. Decompressing that entire spinal cord. Two more breaths. Finding that pause at center, coming back to table. Dropping down to cow. Exhale, cat. Come into our table as we press the body up to down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. As we walk our hands towards our feet, complete forward fold, head melts downward towards the earth, feeling this full body stretch. This is a lengthening pose. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale up, half forward fold, backs are straight, slightly gaze forward. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. Yogi walking our feet slightly apart as we come back down to that complete forward fold. Optioning to connect the hands to the earth or flowing into a rag dial. Connecting the hands to the elbows. And if we choose, we can rock or sway that body from side to side in this rag dial or forward fold. Noticing that when we rock and sway the body, you will feel that stretch, that pull behind the legs a little more, a little deeper in those hamstrings. Maybe going nice and slow or medium flow to really fill it in a body. Five more breaths. Three breaths. Finding our pause at center, 
reaching our hands downward towards the earth. And just feeling that stretch, breathing our legs slightly further apart, nice and wide-legged. We are in that wide-legged forward fold now. And we're going to rock and sway the body from side to side. But this time when we rock the body, we're going to bend the knees as the body comes to the right, bending the right knee. Come in the center as the body flows to the left, bend that left knee. In this movement, we may be able to allow our hands to touch the earth. Just feeling the body work, feeling the hips working here, opening here, feeling the legs and hamstrings stretching. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause at center, wide legged half forward fold. Fingertips are connected to the earth, backs are straight. Gaze forward, breathe in, exhale. Walking the hands forward, breathing the legs together, down dog, gazing at the feet. Exhale, shifting that weight forward, high plank. Working on our back blades, our shoulders, tummies are tucked. Three breaths, two breaths. Exhale into up dog, slightly breathing the body downward. Our thighs are not connected to the earth. Up dog. Heart chakras lifted, chin is up. Two more breaths. Flowing back to down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking the dog by pedal on the feet if that feels good. Two more breaths. Exhale back to high plank. Tummies are tight. We're working the arms, shoulders, back blades. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale up dog slightly. Breathe in the thighs close to the earth. Heart chakras lifted. Chin is up. Up dog. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling down to cobra, connecting the thighs to the earth. Noticing how this feels a little deeper in that lumbar spine, the lower back. Two breaths. Exhaling down the sphinx pose, coming on to our forearms. We don't want the forearms. Thighs, hips connected to the earth. Our shoulders are not shrugged in that sphinx. Shoulders are away from the ears, having control of that body. Maybe our palms are together and our spanks, maybe they're connected to the earth. Whatever feels best for you, you're going to keep that heart chakra lifted, that chin up, slightly gazing the eyes down or closing the eyes as we breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Silent meditation for natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, relax in the body, Superman, Supergirl. Thighs comes off the earth, arms swims forward. Superman, Supergirl, we are working the backs of the legs, the gluteus maximus, the backs, our back blades, shoulder blades. Heart chakras lifted, chin is up. Superman, Supergirl. <sighs> Allowing the body to relax, two more breaths. Holding this pose, we're gonna swim the hands to the back. Locust pose, our palms are upwards towards the heavens. Heart chakras lifted, we are still working the arms, the back, the back blades, gluteus maximus. Three breaths, two breaths. We're going to hold this locust pose and just relax the body, feeling the body relax. Shoulders melt forward, forehead relaxes downward towards the earth, connecting the forehead to the earth. Taking that nice breath. Exhale. Sleeping locust, giving the mind, body, and soul a moment of rest, a moment of peace. Feeling the body soothes. 
Five breaths of silence. Mm -hmm. Two more breaths. Slowly exhaling up, awakening from that sleeping locust, back into that locust pose. Just lifting the body up, holding this locust, four breaths, three breaths, two. As we flow into a bow pose or half bow, connecting the hands to the ankles, left hand to the left ankle, right hand to the right ankle. We can do one at a time, coming into a half bow if that's needed. Using our hands to lift our torso even further from the earth. Optioning to do it once at a time if it's needed in your body. Listening to your body. Doing what feels best for you. If we're doing one at a time and two breaths, we're going to switch to the opposite side. Finding that switch. Four more breaths. Three breaths. Two. Relax, exhaling, relaxing the hands. We're going to breathe those palms together, coming into that sleeping alligator. Stacking those hands on top of each other, allowing the chin, the cheeks, or the forehead to relax on the palms of your hands, the back of your hands. Feeling those shoulder blades melt forward. Eyes are closed, the gaze down. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. As the body connects deeper to the earth, becoming one with your environment. Silent meditation, five breaths. Slowly awakening from that sleeping alligator crocodile. We're going to come back to that Sphinx pose. We are back on our forearms. Shoulders are not shrugged to the ears. Shoulders are away from the ears. Have a control of that body. Heart chakras lifted. Chin is up. Two breaths. Mm -hmm. Flowing to our cobra, baby cobra. Palms are flat on the earth. Lifting that torso slightly away from the earth. Baby cobra. Elbows are slightly bent. Cobra elbows are a little bit more straighter. Heart chakra is lifted. Chin is up. As we flow to an up dog, taking those thighs off the earth. Heart chakra is lifted. Chin is up. We are working the arms, the back blades, shoulders. Two more breaths. Flow into down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog if we choose. Lower back to high plank. Four breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale up dog. Thighs are off the earth. Two more breaths. Exhale into cobra, connecting those thighs to the earth. Flowing back to space pose. We are on forearms. Shoulders are not shrugged. 
Taking a nice, deep, intentional breath. Exhale. Three breaths here. Two breaths. Exhale, relax, flowing onto our backs, recline position. We are on our backs. <sighs> Hugging those knees into the chest. Mm. Coming nice and wide-legged knees to chest. Breathing those legs out to the side. <sighs> Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. Breathing our hands to our feet. Breathing our feet to our hands, hands to feet. Just connecting our hands onto our feet, squeezing our feet. Noticing how this feels in the hip flexors here. Our legs are outward towards the side. Two more breaths. As we extend that left leg out towards the side, nice and long. Optioning to bend the knee if needed. If all is well, we're going to breathe that right leg out to the side. Nice and long. You'll feel it stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings. Repositioning your hands to feel comfortable within your body. Maybe our hands are at our ankles and not at our toes any longer. Whatever feels best for you, we are feeling the stretch here in our inner thighs, our hamstrings. We're just going to hang out here. And just feel that stretch. As we breathe those legs together, up in the air, legs on the wall poles, waterfall pose. Pointing those toes upwards towards the heavens. Our shoulder blades, back legs are connected to the earth. Two more breaths. As we breathe our legs towards our torso, optioning to connect our hands to our feet if we're able, and we're gonna flow into a plow pose, or we're gonna just simply lift those thighs over the head, but that slightly comes off the earth. Or we can come into a plow pose, whatever feels best for you and your body. This is a lengthening pose. It's also a full body stretch. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, legs back up in the air, legs on the wall. As we breathe our knees inwards, flowing into a happy baby. Feet are up in the air, knees are off to the side. Happy baby. This here is a hip opener. Connecting our hands to our feet and our happy baby. Optioning to rock and sway that body from side to side, if that feels good. We're going to freestyle and have fun in our happy baby for six natural breaths. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, breathing those legs back up to legs on the wall. Pointing those toes upwards towards the heavens and that ballerina's foot. Breathing our knees into our chest, hugging those knees into the chest. The legs are together, knees to chest. Legs are together. As we allow our knees to flow towards the left, recline spinal twist, knees flows to the left. We're gonna try to keep our shoulder blades and our back legs as close to the earth as we can. As we breathe that right arm out to the side, feeling that spinal cord twist, decompress. As we option to gaze up at the heavens or gaze over our left shoulder, taking a nice deep breath. 
Exhale. Allowing the eyes to slightly close or gaze down. Silent meditation, six natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, hugging the knees to the chest. Just for a moment, self-love. As we allow our knees to flow towards the right, knees flows to the right, opposite side, feeling that spinal twist as our left arm goes out to the side. Shoulder blades are relaxing to the yoga mat. Eyes are gazed down or closed. As we are gazed, head is turned over our left shoulder or we are gazed upwards at the heavens. Feeling the body soothe and relax. Silent meditation, six natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging those knees into the chest. Breathe in. Exhale. Extending those legs, coming into that savasana, savasana. Legs are parallel side by side. We are in our resting pose. The sides of our feet are connecting. As we allow our feet to flow to the sides, completely relaxing our legs. Palms are off to the side, or we can relax our palms on our chest. Eyes are gazed down and closed. As we are using this rest pose to remind us that rest is needed. As we are using our Shavasana to remind us that when the body rests, the body heals. When the mind rests, the mind heals. Indeed, our body repairs itself during our sleep mode. For me, that's what Shavasana is all about, is reminding us to take a moment to relax. For me, Shavasana is reminding us to take a moment to find still, to find comfort, to find relaxation within. For me, Shavasana is reminding me to just sit still, and just find that moment for self. I ask you, what is your Shavasana for you? What is your rest pose? What does resting the mind and body do for you? As we lay in Shavasana, 10 natural breaths, may we go inward and focus on what does rest mean for us? Focusing on what does rest make us? How does rest make us feel? 10 breaths of silence.
Two more breaths. As we roll on to our side in our fetal pose, taking a couple more moments to find rest, to find comfort. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Slowly wiggling our toes, moving our blood outside our hips. We can option to stay in our rest pose if that feels good for us. For those who are ready, may we find our bodies in a seated pose using that top hand to lift our bodies up, coming into any easy seat that feels good for you. Backs are straight, tummies tucked. Shoulders relax downward away from our ears. Eyes are gazed downward or closed. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. So we breathe our palms to the side, flowing them up towards the heavens, coming into that star. Coming into that salute. Breathing those palms together. Exhale down the prayer. Palms come heart center. Shoulders relax down. Palms come out to the side, flowing them up to that star. Extended mountain, palms above the head. They are not connected. Exhale to salute, palms together. Exhale down the prayer. Palms out to the side, coming into that star. Heart chakras lifted, chin is up, that pelvic bone is tilted forward, nice elongated spine. As we breathe the fingertips to our shoulders. We're gonna rotate our shoulders towards the back. Working those back blades, the shoulders, the neck. Our core is nice and tight, four breaths. Going as fast or as slow as we choose. Two more breaths. Finding pause, rotating opposite direction. Four breaths. Two breaths. Feeling no shoulder blades work, finding pulse, breathing the palms out to the side. Palms are down. Palms are up. Breathe the palms to the salute, palms together above the head. Interlacing the fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, allowing the arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. Feeling that heart chakra lift, that chin is up. Maybe our shoulder blades are squeezing our spinal cord. You'll feel this in your lumbar spine, your lower back as well. Four breaths. Two breaths. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale to center. Extended mountain, separating those palms. 
as we twist the body towards the right palms, come downward towards the earth. Let's gaze over that right shoulder if that feels good. So in that spinal cord twist, eyes are gaze down or closed. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that star. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale, twist the body towards the left palms. Come down, gazing over that left shoulder if that feels good. Feeling those eyes relax and soothe. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale the body back to center. Breathing our palms to our salute. Palms together, feeling that stretch. Exhale down the prayer. Palms come heart center, relaxing those shoulders downward, away from the ears. Taking a nice deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. Now, I'd like to thank you all for allowing me to practice self-care and teaching training with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Namaste.